Great, great challenge is simple in concept. It's a game a few of us have played, but many of us have fantasized about. It involves extinguishing the life of your sworn enemy, and then putting their physical shell, which until recently held their eternal soul, for your great. That's why it's called the Great, Great Challenge. The true difficulty of this challenge lies in the fact that, unlike in real life, you cannot complete a piecemeal. You gotta put the whole thing through. See, the thing about cats is that any hole or gap a cat can fit its head through, it can also fit through the rest of its body. And humans who aren't morons start their life that way. They come out head first, but adult humans, corrupted by gluttony, can only get through gaps that are as wide as their ass. Now the head is the seat of power. You grab a bull by the horn, you have his head. You control the bull. You control a child's head. You control the child. You control the future. But with adults, all of the control is in the ass. You put their ass in a theater seat. They end up playing Animal Crossing day and night, forgetting to wash or eat. And that's fucking useless. Having a big ass is useless. You just gotta get that twerk. You gotta get that twerk. The twerk. 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 You gotta, get, gotta get that twerk. Nigga, you gotta get that twerk. Now, <clears throat> this room represents the prison that is human consciousness. And the great is the only escape. Death is the only escape. English. You gotta put some English on it. 40 hertz of English. 50 hertz of English, 60 hertz of English, 120 hertz of English, the human eye cannot see this quickly. See, but the thing you have to understand, the thing you have to understand is that when you're the last one in this room, no one is going to put you through the grate. You are stuck here forever. 240 hertz of English, we're traveling back in time now. It is ironic that the sin of sloth is called sloth because sloths can't get fat. See, in humans, sloth leads to gluttony, but sloths can't achieve that because they suck at eating. Me? I know who I am. I'm a dude. This guy's not the dude. What does that have to do with China? Mashing this ass with an axe literally does nothing. This is a virtual dream. A virtual goal. This is literally what it's like to be a manager. Still, I have to admit, bashing this guy's ass with a mace is kind of cathartic. The great, great challenge is a simulation of another simulation disguised as another simulation. Torque turns into twerk, and you gotta get that twerk, torque. You gotta get to work. That is, if you still have a job. R.I.P. Oh, I can't put this fat ass through. The sins of the body are just too heavy. If you think this is gonna have a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. You take the clothes off to symbolically cleanse him of this world's filth. That and you can get a few dollars for them at Goodwill. Both of the female characters you can murk can also be put through the grate. I already tried, it does work, it's fine. But I feel like that would be out of order and weird. You can't cut in line just because you're a woman. I saw a clan in a game, and their acronym was HECHEN. HECHEN. Why would anyone make that their clan name? I don't get it. It is pretty funny, though. Now that I think about it, I think their acronym was actually HECH, and I actually made my clan HECHEN, because that's what I imagined they would call their clan if they were more creative and that's how they would introduce themselves if they were actually good enough to compete but i don't think they were listen i already know what people are gonna say about this you're just copying sam hyde hurt either yes i fucking know i know that fine i'll admit it i want to be bonnie to sam's clyde when we get shot up by degenerate rebels who opposes practicing state-sanctioned homosexuality, I would like to be buried in a pyramid of Funko Pops with him, all right? Is that too much to ask for? So stop. Me, I know who I am. I'm a do. 
the sky's another do. I don't really understand memes anymore. I think I'm just getting too old. Usually when like I'm trying to be funny, I just Google something up and paste it. But I don't really find it that funny. So I just started reading books instead. I read A Heart of Darkness. <coughs> A Heart of Darkness and then Crime and Punishment. And uh, now I'm me. You don't want to be me. Star Wars. Space Wars. Space Force. Dead Horse. Closed Doors. Yo, Broom Rape is a plant though. You can smoke it too. Ugh, I'm pretty sure that staying at home all the time has really been the final straw for me. I can't even look at Reddit anymore without wanting to kill myself. Those people are actually somehow happy about the fact that this, this is socially acceptable now. Putting a fat digital man's ass through a grate is the act of a hero. I actually thought I had it for a while, but all that happened was I just coughed up a bunch of booger jello. It was a lot. It was actually quite a lot of booger jello. And I should probably have saved it and put like food coloring in it green food coloring and then giving it to kids and said is Nickelodeon gack but I'm forgetting I'm forgetting the most important part of all of this I would need another person to film the whole process so that I could put it on reddit and get karma for it and I would have to do it in such a way where it would seem like wholesome where I would be like, oh, that wasn't actually my booger jello. That was just jello. That was just whatever. That was just anal cream. So, that is, uh, if you want to take that idea, if you have booger jello, that's, that's a thought. That's a thought. Um, and I'm not looking at Reddit, as I've already admitted, except probably to post this video on there for my fam so if you if you steal that idea and you get karma for it and I'm happy for you you don't have to cite me you don't have to show anyone this video that's that's totally your prerogative it's it's free okay no license I didn't copyright it I refuse the license on booger jello that's yours that is the belongs to humanity the great, great challenge is a simulation of another simulation, disguised as another simulation. You know, whatever you do, it will soon probably be forgotten anyways. So, I mean, punch bums, put them in the hospital, avoid the consequences, whatever. You do you, man, YOLO. <sighs> That's actually a true story. You should uh, look at the comments. I detail it in detail. I would also like to shout out my clan boss with free S's and with whom I play with like once every three months. It's gonna be really funny to be kicked out once I post this in your discord. I think we should rename the clan to Hehen <laughs> before I submit my resignation letter. <laughs>